Welcome back to Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Today I'm going to be showing you how to unlock the Magister's armor set, which is probably one of my favorite looking armor sets in the game so far, and it is very good. So far, it's one of the best Raven's Clan sets that you can get as far as stats go, and if you want to be one of those people that sneak around at night, it has some really good set bonuses as well. Now, it is one of my favorite looking sets in the game. It really blends the assassin look with the Viking look pretty well, in my opinion. When you upgrade it to the mythical quality, the stats on here are really good and some of the best that you can get on the Raven's Clan uh, in the game. Now, it increases melee damage at night, which is great, and in an additional increase to range damage as well. Now, without further ado, let's get into this. Now, most of our pieces are going to be in East Anglia, the first one being at Serpent's Landing. You can decide to raid this location, um, or you could go in and do it stealthily if you wanted to. It's completely up to you how you want to do this. I decided to live that sweet Viking life and just raid... Oh my god, just raid the area. Uh, but the piece of equipment we are looking for is straight back at the edge of the camp, which is why it's very easy to stealth into this area if you so desire. Now, if you're curious what weapon we're using, we are using Excalibur. And I will leave a link in the description below on how to get Excalibur if you so desire. Uh, we do need a key to open this bad boy. And the key's location is actually right over here. Why I wanted to grab it. All right, once you get the key, you just got to go back and open up this lovely chest. For the Magister's Cloak. Next up is another area in East Anglia that we actually do need to raid. There's also going to be a wealth chest here with some stuff that you'll need to upgrade this equipment later, so you might as well grab that too. Uh, but at the back of this area, there's a big church with a door that you need to force hey, open, which is here. why it's not actually, it's not a raid, but you can raid this and you'll need somebody else with you to be able to force open this particular door. And uh, there's going to be a couple dudes inside that you got to dispatch real quick. So unlike a lot of the other sets that we have shown off unlocking, these ones will require you to do a little bit of battling. But it's not bad because the power level in this area is only power level 50. Also, dual blades are extremely OP. At the end of this room is the loot chest. Now, technically, I guess you could do this without uh, defeating anybody. You could just run in, loot the chest, and then run out. Uh, there's a key here which you're going to need to unlock the rest of the loot in this area. Next up, we've got to go to a slightly higher power level area. It's in Oxenforda. Now, there's a big church here, and this is going to be where you need to get inside. Now, these stained glass windows are breakable. You will need to break those stained glass windows to be able to get inside. Uh, we're going to try and do this stealthily, but there's a guard. There's, there's a lot of guards here. But I think if we go straight in for the side one, we should be a-okay. Now, there is an ability in this town as well if you want to grab that while you're here. I really wish that my character would jump over there instead of being whatever he's doing here. Now that we're inside, we just need to get to the level that's above us, which is pretty straightforward. You got to shoot that out, and then there is this crate here that we need to move. And once we move it into the proper area, we'll be able to hop up and actually get the item. A lot of the little puzzles that require you to hop up into an area are going to utilize a mechanic like this. So just keep this in mind for future secrets if you are hunting stuff. And then looks like we just got to climb over this. Push this bad boy out of the way. Get to the other side. Ah, we've got to break that. Now we should be able to move this. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Got the Magister's trousers. The next piece is going to be just a little bit farther north. It's going to be at this garrison here. Now, there are a lot of people in the way at the garrison. You will need either an explosive, uh, one of those throwing explosive bombs or access to the explosive arrow, which is just as good. 
Uh, if you have the explosive arrow, you can just shoot that wall down and collect the chest inside. There is going to be a lot of other items in this particular area, and you might as well loot the entire area while you're here to get some stuff to upgrade your armor later. Now, the last set is going to be just a little bit farther north in Buckingham. There's going to be a key that you need to collect near the main church. You should be able to hop in, take the key, and dip out without getting seen. As long as you're just even a little bit careful. I think we could probably burst in through the, um, through the windows as well if we wanted to. And I think that's what we're going to do here in the back. Because uh, I, I like to try and do this stealthily if possible. Typically to do things stealthily, we got to break some windows. So there is a lot of collectibles and stuff in this particular area. Uh, just in Oxenfordshire in general. So once again, just make sure to grab everything that you can. And I believe this door is barred. Of course, I chose the wrong window. We will need to unlock the main door, which you can literally just stealth up to and do. Uh, now what we're going to need to do is knock down this ladder. And of course, I don't have any arrows, but I do have an ability that gives me arrows. I was hoping we could get in by breaking the window, but sometimes life just don't work that way. And sometimes it doesn't let you climb ladders either. Uh, so once we climb up this ladder, we're going to be able to access the final piece. Now, I will be upgrading this set fully to Mythical, so that way you can see what the end state is going to be. The full Magister's set, I think, is actually one of my favorite sets that kind of blend the Viking and the Assassin look together really, really well. I quite like the look of it. Now, the stats on here, this is a Raven set uh, armor, so it's going to have slightly lower armor than some other sets. Uh, but the bonus is really nice. Increased damage at night and additional increase to range damage. I like both of these uh, set bonuses, although I'll probably only use the two-piece set bonus. I have fully upgraded them here in the superior, but I will upgrade them to mythical as well so you can see what that is like. Uh, but 22 armor, 28. So if you don't do anything as far as upgrading the quality of the gear, uh, the defense on here is still actually pretty good right off the bat. Uh, so it is a really nice set to even go with without upgrading, but let's go ahead and get this to uh, fine and then mythical. So I gotta say, I really love the flawless quality of this. It is probably one of my favorite looking sets right now. Uh, you can barely see it, but there's like this little bit of red trim on here. Let's get into the light. And I think it looks phenomenal. Now we are going to upgrade this to mythical. Uh, but Mythical is very expensive to upgrade to, so I want to show you what it's going to be with Flawless, because Flawless stats are pretty good already. You got 35 armor, and if that's all you really care about, in comparison to the Mentor's robes, uh, you can spend that Tungsten Ingot, and we're probably going to get to 40 or more defense on here. Uh, but I do want to see what this is going to look like as far as fully upgraded, because the Flawless upgrade might look really, really nice. But the stats on here is already great with the Flawless. All right, let's upgrade the cloak to mythical first. Uh, see, we lose that really nice red that I enjoyed from it, which I guess isn't terrible, but if you really like the red that's with it, then you might not even want to upgrade it to mythical because you get all this gold in there or the, the tungsten, which is nice and all. But, uh, well, I actually really, really liked the red style of it. So if you do decide to take this up to mythical, you will actually get better stats on this than you would with the uh, Mentor's Cloak, which is the other Raven Cloak that you can get. Uh, now, it's obviously not as good as the Draugr Hood or the Valkyrie Cloak, which are both premium currency items, but they are also in different trees. We got the Bear and the uh, Hunter Tree or the Wolf Tree. Uh, so the stats on those are naturally just higher for defense. Uh, but I like the set bonus here a little bit better. So we end up with 42 and then 36. Now, I'm not upgrading these to Flawless because I'm not going to use these particular pieces because I just really like the way the chest and the coat look. Uh, but we'll get two more uh, per upgrade. So this will end up taking us to uh, 40 and we'll have 38 and then uh, 36 for the Mythical Trousers, which is basically just uh, a little bit higher than what we get on the Mentors set. So all in all, this is a very good set. I do hope you all enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think of the uh, armor set in the comments below. And I'll see you all in the next one.